Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I am the Average Doomsday Prepping Dude. Thanks for stopping by. Today's video is a very special one. Uh, I'm gonna be doing it on the 92X Performance Fire Control. I just got this in the mail today, Friday the 22nd. Um, I've been waiting for the 92X to come out for quite some time to see what the trigger is gonna be like. So I've taken the parts out of the package. Um, I have not actually removed it from the bag yet. I was just kind of examining stuff. For this video i was hoping the trigger bar was either going to be a uh, ltt optimized trigger bar or a wilson combat trigger trigger bar but it does not look like that is the case um what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to take one of my regular 92a ones that i haven't you know really really finely tuned got the whole thing put in all of the 92x fire control parts a lot of them look like they're just, you know, standard parts with, with new finishes. Um, but I'm going to completely gut it, put everything new in there, all the springs, the sear, the hammer, everything, and see what that's like compared to one of my more finely tuned ones that I've customized myself to kind of see what the, um, the comparisons are. I'm pretty excited about this. So, okay, so I got everything in and I played around with it for a little bit. Um, I did have to oil it a little bit because uh, it was a little bit gritty once I oiled it. It did um, take some of the goodness out. The first thing you'll notice is the trigger profile seats a little bit farther forward for Beretta. Uh, this is actually kind of the exact opposite of a Wilson Combat um, short reach trigger where they pull the trigger way, way far to the back. Uh, the reason for this is because once you fire your first double action shot, the profile of this trigger in single action is more straight, like a 1911. I shoot tax sports, uh, CZ tax sports in limited, and the trigger on that is very, very straight. Uh, basically, like once you, you know, once you, it's a pound and a half trigger, it's really stupid. Uh, once you, pull that it's just right there the reason why it actually is more beneficial to have the flatter strutter or the the flatter straight triggers that are a little bit further forward in single action mode for competing is because you're running around a lot with your your finger outside of the trigger guard so when you want to re-engage the trigger you want it right there you don't want it further back because the further back you go your your wrist is going to naturally kind of tilt in so coming off of running with your figure on the outside the trigger guard coming in, it actually feels more natural, more like my tax board to have it right there. Now the reset is actually pretty short. Uh, it's not a Langdon trigger bar inside. I have not compared this to my Langdon trigger bars, um, but the reset is actually pretty good. It's it's pretty short. Uh, the trigger does have serrations which feels nice in single action mode i don't like serrations for double action pistols but for single action mode it's quite nice the combination of everything you do need to use everything that it came with in conjunction with each other i actually played around with the wilson combat hammer and the wilson combat trigger bar to see how those would feel with this new 92x trigger and it did not feel the same it actually uh, the reset was worse, so I put everything back together after kind of messing with stuff. And uh, I think, you know, the trigger kit comes with everything. It comes with the hammer, uh, trigger bar. It actually comes with the sear as well, and the trigger and all new springs. So just replace everything like I did. Just gut your whole pistol, put all new stuff in. Um, I need to take this to the range to, to really see how this feels and performs. Get a couple hundred rounds downrange but you know this this straight profile trigger is what a lot of competition pistols are like um this is just you know super short on my tax sport this is uh you know it's not as short but for a production pistol you know that reset right right there is pretty good so I do have to test it. I'm pretty excited. Um, it is a little pricey. This thing is 200. I got it on sale for uh, for like 160 because they had a they had a promo coupon. It just came out this week, so if you can get your hands on one, I I recommend it. Um, even though I have not 
you know, put it through its paces, but just feeling it, I can feel when stuff feels really good, and this feels really, really nice. I have big hands. I like big grips. Um, the, the tech sport is ginormous uh, for most people. I actually like palm swell grips to kind of fill up my hands. So I don't mind the trigger being so far forward. But if you have smaller hands, um, you may not like this. I wouldn't want this as a duty pistol or a duty trigger uh, in a duty pistol. But if for competitions, this thing for shooting single action is going to be amazing. Thanks for stopping by. And uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel.